Up at 108 points yesterday and another drop today. Our financial expert, uh, Rob Black, joining us right now. Had a lot of stuff come out this morning. We had uh, Walmart with some big numbers once again. Yeah, they beat expectations by a lot. They did lower guidance going forward, which is basically saying, January was okay, but February starting to see a deceleration in retailing um, as the payroll taxes have gone higher. There's just a little bit of fear that the consumer is going to lose a little bit of a, a purchasing power at the lower end, the dollar stores, the Walmarts, the Targets per se. Yeah, and I was just reading how important uh, Walmart is to the U.S. economy with 71% of the U.S. economy consumer spending, and Walmart's 10% of that. It's a crazy number. It's impressive. Yeah. And if you strip out like Apple and Walmart, I mean, they're the two most important important retailers as far as you know, percentages in the United States. Wow, we had a spike in the weekly jobless claims up 20,000 uh, from the week before. Uh, is that a concern as we watch the weekly numbers here with the unemployment? No, um, and I like the way you're using concern. It's the unemployment, it's improving in the United States. It's not falling apart, but it's very, very slow. The question is, is are, should we be cautious about the sequestration? How big of an impact is it going to have? A million jobs slows down to the economy. If we take money out of the defense spending, you may take it, people out of jobs. Uh, they leave the military, then suddenly they're unemployed, and they're looking for jobs, and they're competing with the unemployed. So that's the concerns, and the, the headlines are going to be crazy for the next couple of months. You have to have a stomach of steel, because <laughs> we haven't had a 10% correction or more in over 500 days on Wall Street. Typically, we get two per year. So we're really due for a good, fast, hardcore swoosh down, kind of like in being in a plane and dropping 1,000 feet. Yeah, you know, as you watch the Dow, so there's been this like push to get to the, the old record high of 14,164. And we keep getting over that 14,000 mark, but then we just keep falling back below it. Uh, do you feel the market's kind of too high right now? The indices are running too high right now? Um, the S&P 500 is up 5.6% yeah. for the year. You know, you do the math, and that's something like going to be up 30% for the year. We're a little ahead of ourselves, especially seeing that it's been October up, November up, December up, January up, seven straight weeks, the U.S. up. We're due for, like you said, yeah. we're a little ahead of ourselves. Okay, so as we go for the next few months, we're seeing companies like Walmart, you know, lowering their expectations for the coming months. Do you feel the uh, U.S. economy just kind of limp along for the rest of the year, or are there still some indications maybe we'll do better in the second half? You know, there's a story out today that this is the type of market that I see. Verifone's getting murdered. They're down 30%. They make the hardware that you swipe your cards with, like restaurants and, and hotels and situations like that. There's companies like Square who are putting little dongles on smartphones, and you're doing it that way. So one company is losing, one company is winning. The people who are giving away the hardware for free, they're winning. The people who are charging for the hardware are losing. So you got to figure out, you know, the areas that are working and go after them. Home builders last week, they were hitting 52-week highs. This week, they've cooled off. Yeah, big I like, like the home builders builder. now. Yeah, you know? me too. Last week, they were too expensive. This week, they're kind of a little bit cooler. Would I buy today? No, because I'm still expecting that whoosh down to carry everything a little bit lower. Okay, so we even wait. The home builders saw on average about an 8% drop yesterday. Just wait a little bit more and look for another buying opportunity there. Long term, you're okay. Short term, I think you have a buying opportunity yeah. coming. All right, thank you, Rob. We'll check back with Rob at 915 with today's winners and losers on Wall Street. Annie? All right, thanks. Turning to weather, a live look out